back, everybody. We were hosting a happy hour on today's show, and we're super happy to see Angie Horkin from Youth Council. Great to see you. You too. Feels like I haven't been here for a long well, time. Well, happy <laughs> summer. Good to see I you. Know, it's over. We missed you. Don't say that. We still have we still have Labor Day weekend. We still weekend. have next yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. Next week and totally. I'm savoring every last second, and hopefully we'll have a really nice September. So we'll just yeah. keep this party going. Um, two new recipes today that I'm pretty excited about. When I think uh, buffalo, anything, I think chicken. Right. Um, but we're using beef. We're, we're doing using beef. Buffalo meatballs. So buffalo tell me about meatballs. them. So tell me about them. And you usually don't think of beef as an appetizer. Yeah. True. But we do have a lot of great tiny bites, tapas, small plate recipes um, featuring beef. And it is really nice to take to a party because it's filling. Like that, yeah. And so it's substantial. I like, and you know, that's a good point. When you're hosting a happy hour, there's a really good chance that that's. Um, the only food people are going to be eating that night and you don't want them to hit a fast food restaurant on the way home right. so even though it's not a full-on dinner it's a really nice thing to i think have mixes of um, cooler d'oeuvres like the taco dip mm -hmm. but also do some uh, meatier things maybe some warm hors d'oeuvres too and who doesn't like meatballs i know the guys are all over meatballs i happen to be all over meatballs too so so buffalo meatballs buffalo style meatballs so we, we're starting with lean ground beef okay so 96 percent lean ground beef one pound okay um, the meatball recipe itself is quite traditional, so nothing too fancy here, but breadcrumbs, bread crumbs, onion, onion, an egg, just to bind it all together. Bind it all together. And I noticed not a ton of breadcrumbs. I think that that's where people go wrong on the meatballs is they put tons of tons of uh, you know breadcrumbs in and then they get kind of dry. You know. A half a cup. A half so, a cup. Okay. And then uh, about a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, okay. and that's it. Should I get in there and start yeah, rolling? Yeah, you want to. So the, the yeah. buffalo part, I take it, comes in with the sauce. The sauce, okay. right. So clean hands, and really the only way to do meatballs is get in there. So these are going to be baked, too. We're not going to fry them, right? We're going to bake them. Just have a nice jelly roll pan. Okay. 350 degree oven, about 20 minutes. Okay. You can always use a meat thermometer, too, to temp them. You want to get them to 160 degrees. But we're going to make little meatballs. So like one inches, half an ounce meatballs. Got so it. they so cook pretty fast. Okay. And you know, for also for a cocktail party, appetizer, you want these to be able to just pop right in people's mouths. Use a toothpick. Is that about the size we want? That's, yes, that looks good. Or is that too big? That's good. We'll make it good. So I'll get rolling. So when does the sauce come We're in? Gonna, I'll make the sauce. Okay. The sauce is simple. You make that um, when you're done cooking your meatballs, but okay. you can make your meatballs a day ahead. Okay. And meatballs are really good in a nice low slow cooker. Okay, good so tip. Bake them, mix them with the sauce, put them in a slow cooker because um, you don't want to serve cold meatballs. No, no, that's not so good, but I love the idea is I don't want to be rolling meatballs like an hour before my party, so I like the idea of getting this done the day before, getting them baked off and just warming them up. So you have two tablespoons of butter it looked like there, and Two tablespoons of butter and I'm, I'm just going to yep. soften it. You get the idea, we roll a bunch of these. It looks like this is gonna make about two dozen or more meatballs, maybe even 36 meatballs, quite a few meatballs. Calls to make 32, so okay. that'd be a half an ounce. Okay. We started with a pound of ground beef, half an ounce meatball. I could not get 32 out, I made mine too big. <laughs> That's okay, who's but, counting? So here they are, and of course, again, yeah. if you're having a big group of people over, you double, triple this recipe. So here the meatballs are baked, they look yummy. So then we'll yep. mix, we'll put them in here. Okay. Here's a tongs. So we kind of coat them with this sauce, huh? That's what yes. we're going to do, just like we would wings. I love wing sauce. I love buffalo anything. So I'm pretty excited about this. So melted butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Uh, your favorite hot sauce. So normally you use it. You <laughs> if you have a favorite. Yep, yep. So six tablespoons, four to six. Okay. And actually I doubled the sauce for today because calls for half of this, but I'm going to double it. Okay. And then a little honey. Two tablespoons of honey. So sweeten up that hot sauce a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. And that's it. Three ingredients. I'll mix this up good. There's something about this. The, the butter kind of works with that hot sauce and the, oh, man, it smells so good. So we'll toss this with the meatballs. This is the easy enough. And then yeah. again, put this in your slow cooker, keep it all nice and warm. Start People can up. help themselves with toothpicks whenever they want it. This is my kind of game day spread. And, and then, of course, celery. Yeah, got to. Got to got celery on the side with your buffalo. Because that's the cooling of it, you know? So you got the, the hot, and then we have a little ranch with blue, blue cheese. cheese. Blue cheese. So we'll plate the meatballs up. I got to do blue cheese with mine, but a lot of the kids like ranch, so I usually try and serve both. 
Some oh, in there. that looks so good. Love, love, love this. Yeah, easy. Really easy. Delicious, and we use lean ground beef. So nutritious. What uh, an interesting take on the whole classic buffalo chicken wings, buffalo meatballs. Really, really fun idea. So I'm um, ex pretty excited about the recipe we're making next time yeah. too, by the way. Tell me about that. We're gonna use mini peppers. Do you need this? The mini, like your hands were out The there. mini sweet peppers. We're gonna take yeah. those and we're gonna fillet them open, pull the seeds out, and we're gonna stuff them with a ground beef couscous mixture. So we have little mini stuffed pepper appetizers. I can hardly wait. I've seen these bags of these little peppers that aren't spicy at the grocery store, and I'm like, they're so cute. What do you do with them? Well, Angie's gonna show us coming up. Also coming up, uh, bacon spinach bites and some fun cocktails for your next happy hour. Don't go anywhere. Lots more party ideas coming your way.